Hi everyone, I am Uğur Yaka, the English teacher of System College. I hope you are all okay, staying at home and protecting yourself from the virus. From now on, we are going to study our English lesson online until the school starts, until the bad, this bad situation is taken under control. Now, today we are going to study conditional sentences. Conditional sentences are also known as conditional clauses or if clauses. They are used to express that the action in the main clause can only take place if a certain condition is fulfilled. Yani arkadaşlar conditional sentence dediğimiz koşul cümleleri. Biz bunlara conditional clause ya da if clause diyoruz. If'in cümleye kattığı anlam eğerdir. Conditional clause'ları kullanma amacımız eğer bir şart, bir durum gerçekleştiğinde ana cümledeki olayı açıklamak için, tanımlamak için kullanıyoruz. Let's see its structure now. A conditional sentence is composed of two parts. One of them is if clause and the other one is main clause. We have an if clause and main clause. We have two sentences. And let's see an example. If it rains, I will stay at home. Eğer yağmur yağarsa evde kalacağım. Our main action is staying at home. And our condition is raining. Burada da Arkadaşlar şöyle gösterelim kalemle. If bizim cümlemize ne yapıyor dedik? Koşul anlamı katıyor. Eğer, eğer yağmur yağarsa. Bizim main action'ımız ne? Our main action is staying at home. And our condition is raining. If it's rain, if it rains, I'll stay at home. And we can say that from here... Our if clause is uh, the sentence we use if in it and our main clause is the clause which the action takes part in. And let's give another example. If you study hard, you will get good marks. If you study hard, you will get good marks. The important thing is here, our main action. Our main action is getting Good mark. To get good mark, our condition is studying hard. And we make this condition by using if in the sentence. As you see in the first sentences, we use if and make a condition in the sentences. And uh, as I said before, our main action is getting good mark. If you study hard, you will get a good mark. And we can also make negative sentences by using uh, if. Let's make a negative sentences. Ah, okay, uh, we can see that our first part, the part we use if in it, our if clause, and the other sentence will be our main clause. Okay, let's make a uh, negative sentence. If you don't study your lesson, your parents will be angry. Our uh, condition is here, studying. If you don't study, your parents will be angry. As I said before, olumsuz cümle de yapabiliyoruz burada gördüğümüz gibi. İki tarafta da olumsuz cümle kurabiliriz. E, i̇stersek iki kısmı da olumsuz yapabiliriz. Bu bizim için sıkıntı teşkil etmiyor. Okay. Let's see his type. The order of the two clauses is flexible. It's not important, but... If the if clause comes first, it must be followed by a comma. Burada denmek istenen şu arkadaşlar. İkisinin yeri e, işte if clause önde mi kullanıldı, arkada mı kullanıldı bu önemli değil. Önemli olan eğer if clause başta kullanılacaksa if clause'dan sonraki cümle yapımızda bir virgül getirmemiz gerekiyor. Eğer başta main clause'umuz olacaksa if clause sonda olacaksa herhangi bir virgül getirmemize gerek yok. Let's see the examples. If you hit glass... It breaks. Our condition is here, hitting the glass, and our main action is breaking the glass. And we change its places. Water boils if you heat it. As you see it in here, our condition sentence is the second sentence. If you heat it, water boils. Or we can change place. Water boils if you heat it. As you see it in here, The sentence we use if is our if clause and the other sentences 
which the uh, action takes place, our main clause, and we change its place. Our if clause is uh, in the second sentence, and our main clause is the first sentence is in this example. Okay, there are four types of conditional sentences. They are classified according to the degree of probability that the, uh, they express. Each type of conditional sentence uses different tense to show the difference in the degree of probability. Dört farklı condition yapımız var arkadaşlar. Bunlar da olasılık derecelerine göre sınırlanıyor. Ve bu olasılık derecelerindeki farkı belirtmek için de farklı tenseler kullanıyoruz. Let's see what are our four types of conditional sentences. The first one is zero conditional. We can call it type 02 and first conditional type 1, second conditional type 2 and the third conditional type 3. And don't worry, we are going to study the two of them, the easiest of them, zero conditional and first conditional. We are throwing back them. Okay, let's begin with the zero conditional. Uh, let's previous it. Okay. Let's begin with the zero conditional. The zero conditional is all is a structure used for talking about general truths, scientific facts, and the things which always happen under certain conditions. Yani zero conditionalı kullanma amacımız arkadaşlar genel doğruları, bilimsel gerçekleri ve belirli şartlar altında gerçekleşen eylemleri, olayları anlatmak için kullanıyoruz. Let's see the general truths. Uh, we use our formulation as if plus condition after comma the result clause. If it rains, we get wet. Our condition is here is raining again, and our result sentence is getting wet. It's a general truth. Everyone knows it. Uh, there is no need a prophecy, or there is no need to be an oracle to know this. If it rains, we will get wet. If you stay under. Rain, you get wet. And if you eat too much junk food, you get fat. As you see in the example, if you eat too much junk food, you get fat like me. And let's see the scientific facts. Again, our formulation is the same. If the water boils, it's not cold. If you heat water to 100 degree, it boils. And these actions, these sentences supported by the science, and we call it scientific facts. Okay, zero conditional sense are form as follows. Let's see its formulation again. After if, we use simple present tense in the both sentences, both in the if clause and in the main clause, we use simple present tense. And if gives the meaning of, in Turkish, air. Air şu olursa bu olur şeklinde. In if clause, after if, we use subject and the verb in the present simple and in the main clause after subject again verb in the present simple. Let's see another example. If you heat water, it boils. It's a scientific fact also. If we heat water, our condition sentence and the second sentence, it boils our uh, main clause, the result clause. And we can change its place too. Water boils if you heat it. As we said before, it's flexible. We can change the sentences, places. Let's see another example. If people eat too much, they get fat. Our condition is here. Is eating too much. If you eat too much, this is our condition. And it's our main action. It's our result clause. And we use if. Eğer çok fazla yersen şişmanlarsın. If you touch a fire, touching a fire is condition is here and you get burn is our result. Snake bite, snakes bite if they are scared. Eğer korkutulursa yılanlar ısırır. Bu, as you see it in here, uh, if clause is used in the second sentence, uh, we already said it is flexible. And if babies are hungry, they cry. Eğer bebekler acıkırsa ağlarlar. Our condition is 
uh, being hungry of the baby and the, the result sentence is uh, they are crying. Okay. Let's see some exercises. Uh, an example is already given. Uh, the words water, boil, and heat is given to us, and we are going to put these words in the correct order by using if clause. Water boils if you heat it. We add an if in the sentence, and we make a condition and a result sentence. And let's see the second example. We have the words ice, float, you, drop, it, and in water. We are going to put an if. We are going to make a condition in this sentence too. Ice flows if you drop it in water. Eğer suyun içine buzu atarsan suyun üzerinde yüzer. Or we can change its places too. Uh, if you drop it in water, ice flows. And other example. If you don't repeat, you forget. Our condition is repeating. If you don't repeat, you forget and we make negative uh, if clause here again. And the other example, if my daughter eats too much chocolate, she gets sick. Eğer kızımız diyor çok fazla çikolata yerse hastalanır. And we can use imperatives too in the if uh, condition clause too. If you are lost, ask for help. If you are lost, this sentence is our condition and ask for help. This is an imperative sentence. Uh, we can use it in two in the conditional sentences. Now we have an uh, exercise again. We are going to fill in the blanks according to the conditional sentence. Uh, if is already given, we have a blank and on a boat I always feel sick. Okay, a subject and a verb is given to us and we are going to put it according to the conditional sentence. What was our rules? We are going to use simple present tense in both sentences too. Let's see the answer. If I go on a boat, I always feel sick. We are going to use simple present tense here. The teacher gets angry if we don't work hard. Sıkı çalışmazsak öğretmen kızabilir, sinirlenebilir anlamında. It's easier to sleep if blank stress. Okay, as you see in here, we are going to make negative sentences again. And be careful about the uh, verb be in here. We are going to use verb to be. It's easier to sleep if you are not stressed. And his mother gets annoyed if he is late. We use verb to be, and verb to be again. And if I don't know a word, I look in my dictionary. Add bir kelimeyi bilmiyorsam sözlüğe bakarım diyoruz. They play football if they, if they don't have any homework. Eğer ödevleri yoksa futbol oynarlar. As you see in here our condition is if they don't have homework. Eğer ödevleri yoksa futbol oynayacaklar. If you freeze water it turns to ice. Eğer suyu dondurursan neye dönüşür? Buza dönüşür. Okay, let's see first conditional, type one. Uh, we use first conditional to talk about actions or events in the future, which are likely to happen or have a real possibility of happening. It describes possibilities, abilities, and permission. Bu da arkadaşlar, first conditionalımız biraz e, e, real odaklıdır. Gerçekleşmesi muhtemel olayları anlatmak için kullandığımız yapıdır bizim. Uh, our formulation is... After if, a conditional sentence again, and the, uh, after comma, we are going to use our result clause again. Uh, after if, we are going to use simple present tense in condition clause. And in main clause, we can use future simple, models, may, might, could for possibility, uh, must have to for obligation, should had better, ought to for advising, and we can use imperative to in first conditional Okay, when we use will in the result clause of the first conditional, we are certain that something will happen. It's definite. Eğer main clause'umuzda biz uh, present uh, simple, uh, future simple kullanacaksak, will kullanacaksak, bir şeyin olacağı artık kesin demektir arkadaşlar. Biz bundan eminiz demektir. Let's see our formulation again. 
and let's see some example if i have enough money i will buy a car our condition a is uh, here uh, having enough money and our result clause is uh, buying a car if i have enough money i will buy a car eğer yeterince param olursa i will buy a car araba alacağım bir araba alacağım ne olmuş oldu? Bunda gerçeklik payı, olasılık payı çok yüksek olduğu için will kullanmış oluyoruz arkadaşlar. If we see her, we will tell her what the teacher said. Eğer onu görürsek, öğretmenin ne dediğini ona söyleyeceğiz. If I go to the market, I will buy what you want. Eğer markete gidersem, istediğini alacağım. Our condition is going to the market and our result clause, our result action is buying what you want if i pass the exam i will organize a celebration party eğer sınavı geçersem bir kutlama partisi yapacağım artık bu artık olasılık kesin will kullandığımız için if it doesn't rain tomorrow eğer yarın yağm yağmur yağmazsa we will go on a picnic our uh, condition is raining again if it doesn't rain we will go on a picnic it's a certain it's definite If you don't go to school, you will stay at home all day. Eğer okula gitmezsen tüm gün evde kalacaksın derken de yine bir kesinlik söz konusu. When we use models may, might or can instead of will, this means that the consequence is not certain. It's possible, possible but not definite. Eğer future simple kullanmazsak, bunun yerine modelları kullanırsak, may, might ya da can, will'in yerine bunları kullanırsak, Sonuç kesin değildir burada. Mümkündür. Hani olasıdır ama kesin diyemiyoruz. E, we use model in the result uh, clause again in here. If it rains tomorrow, I might stay at home or I may go shopping. I will decide tomorrow. If it rains tomorrow is our condition clause again. But our in our result clause, we can't say that it's certain. We can't say that it's definite. Uh, we have a possibility to do that, but uh, look at the uh, other sentence. I will decide tomorrow. Yarın karar vereceğim. Olasılık var ama belli değil. I might stay at home. Evde de kalabilirim. Or I may go shopping. Alışverişi de çıkabilirim. Another example. If my mother helps me, I can finish my homework on time. Eğer annem bana yardım ederse ödevimi zamanında bitirebilirim. Ee, biz buradaki arkadaşlar keni yine possibility olarak kullandık. Bizim ödevi zamanda bitirme koşulumuz ne? Annemizin yardımcı olması. If you lend him your pencil, he may not give it back to you. Eğer ona kalemini verirsen sana geri vermeyebilir. Kesinlik yok burada. Ee, we use may in here to give a possibility. Ee, Let's say another example. If the teachers have time, they may have repeat the subject. Eğer öğretmenin zam öğretmenlerin zamanı olursa konuları tekrar edebilirler. And may gives a possibility in here again. Another example. If he calls you, you should go. Eğer sen ararsa gitmelisin veya gitsen iyi olur şeklinde çeviriyoruz. Okay, we have a note in here. In the first conditional, there is no difference in meaning between may and might. Conditional'lar kullanırken may ile might'ın kullanımı aynıdır arkadaşlar. Herhangi bir farklılık olmuyor. Okay, we can use type 1 in question sentence 2. We already said that we can make negative sentence and now we can use uh, question sentence by using first condition. Let's see the example. What will you do if you lose match? If you lose the match. Eğer maçı kaybederseniz ne yapacaksınız? Our condition is if you lose the match, maçı kaybetmeniz. In our, in our result sentence we use question sentence. Can you call me if you see Susan? Eğer Susan'ı görürsen, Susan'ı görürsen beni arayabilir misin diyor. Gördüğünüz gibi yine main clause'umuzda ne yaptık? Soru cümlesini kullandık ama if clause'da bunu kullanamıyoruz. Will you leave school if you don't have enough money? Eğer yeterince para olmazsa okuldan ayrılacak mısın diyor. And our, in our last example, can you tell her to swim, see me if she calls you? Eğer seni ararsa beni görmesini söyleyebilir misin? If you want, we can use models in both if clause and 
in main clause or you can use models only in one part. Modulları arkadaşlar hem if clause'da hem main clause'da kullanabiliyoruz. Ya da istediğimiz iki tanesinden bir tanesini de kullanabiliriz. Let's see examples. If I can sleep early, I can get up early. As you see it in the examples, in the both sentence we use model in here. If I can sleep early, eğer erken kalkabilirsem, I can get up early. Uh, sorry, eğer erken uyuyor, uyuyabilirsem, erken kalkabilirim. If you can speak English, you will find jobs easily. Eğer İngilizce konuşabilirsen, kolayca iş bulabilirsin diyor. As you see it in here, we use uh, one model in one sentence, and the, in other sentence we use uh, present future uh, simple. If anyone should ask for me, I will be at the meeting. Eğer biri beni soracak olursa, toplantıda olacağım. And if I must do that, I will do that. Eğer yapmak zorundaysam, yapacağım. In if clauses type 1, we can use imperatives too as we said before. If you see Mr. Steven, give him my regards. E e regards. Eğer e Bay Steven'ı görürseniz, ona Teşekkürlerimi veya biz bunu selamlarımı iletin diye de çevirebiliyoruz. As you see in here, uh, in the result clause or we can say it in the main clause, we use imperative in here. If the machine doesn't work, push this button twice. Eğer makine çalışmazsa bu butona, bu düğmeye iki defa basın diyor. And if you go to the market, buy me an ice cream. Eğer markete gidecek olursanız bana bir dondurma alın şeklinde çevirmişiz. Okay, now... Uh, our lesson is ends here and we have a small quiz for the conditions. Please, uh, I'm going to help you to see that. Please stop video in here and look at the exercises, look at the uh, mini quiz and post your answers un under the video. And I hope you can take care of yourself very good and uh, we will see each other again soon. Bye bye.